Good evening, it's Curl. Got a ranked game for you in my uh, Yolo Emilio. Going over the matchmaking, the enemy team has a Georgia, Izumo, Soyuz, Alaska, Kitakazi, Tashkent, and Benson. And this one's going to be kind of a hectic game. The map is Crash Zone Alpha, 3 cap domination, and we are going to start this one off. So aside from being just a really hectic game, this game is its going to have some really good lessons on, you know, close quarters torping because, of course, I'm in Emilio. So right out of the gate, um, I, I took a look at the map and we've got a Kiev, we've got a Yagumo. And I'm, I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to support my Yagumo buddy. Uh, Kiev looks like he's got a buffalo that he can he can kind of use the radar. And he, it looks like the bulk of my team's coming in behind the Kiev. So, you know, aside from the fact that uh, he's got very poor concealment and it's unlikely he's going to be able to, to just run right into C-Cap, uh, he's not really in the, in the worst shape so right now I've got you know the Yagumo, Lopatano uh, this flank's really light so I'm, I'm going to be really skittish about this flank because uh, you know it's it wouldn't take much to outnumber us here and I mean especially with just once one uh one battleship out here the enemy team's only going to have one thing to shoot at and that's going to be the Lepatano and that uh, that can be really rough for that battleship so that's why I, I take the time to, to tell him hey you know be ready to run this is this is a flank that we're probably going to get pushed here and we need to be ready to uh, to kite out and you know drag this thing out as long as we need to now my Yagumo, he's kind of told me that he wants to ride the one line down here. So I'm assuming he's going to try to do like the spotting thing. Honestly, this isn't how I would play this. I'm, I'm just trying to be a good teammate, support my Yagumo the best I can. Uh, if I were this Yagumo, I would, I would already have turned around and I would be sitting, you know, right in here waiting to pick up a DD, pushing right in here. And I would be looking to torp any battleships or anything pushing right through here as well. Uh, that's how I would play this. Um, but he's got other ideas, so I'm just going to follow his lead. Uh, because sometimes you don't get to choose, you know, how you would like to fight a battle. Sometimes you've just got to try to make something work. And so my game plan, basically, I'm going to come up here behind my Yagumo. If he runs into a DD or something, I'm going to, you know, help him out with the guns. Uh, but otherwise, I'm, I'm going to look to try to use this island. And I'm just going to kind of play like a light cruiser, shooting right over the island with Sap and HE uh, at these battleships that you can see they've already started their push. Hats off to this Lipitano. He listened. He's already turned out. Think about the disaster that this would be if this battleship right now is caught bow in. He's he's dead already. He'd be he'd be just instant dead. So I'm gonna start taking some perspective shots out here. I'm selecting the Georgia because the Georgia is a little bit more squishy than the Soyuz. I say that as I shatter. And you can see the the sap on this destroyer is just ridiculous. It's a big part of the reasons why I run uh, such a, a gun heavy build on this. Just no regard at all given to the concealment of my vessel. Uh, it's all about the guns and how far I can stretch them out. So our our Yagumo does get some good torpedo hits in here 
and uh, I'm, I'm switching to HE. I'm, I'm assuming that uh, he's got no flood on this Georgia. I'm gonna try to start getting after this Georgia, see if I can't get some fire damage going on him. And hey, what do you know? You ask and you shall receive. Uh, I know that I'm gonna get shot here though, so I, I just instantly smoke up here. And I'm gonna lay, you know, a defensive set of torps right in here because I see that this Soyuz is kind of pushing this position. So I think I actually just get straight blind shot here from this. Yeah, you see him right here. Just launch it right into me. And not necessarily a bad play for this Soyuz, but I want you to take a, a look. You can see he's just started to turn how I led those torps right into his turn. You need to, to really watch your torpedo indicator and, and think of it, stop stop thinking about it as where's my as a as a prediction for where this ship is is and instead think about this is an indicator that's telling me how this ship is moving and then it's up to me to you know lead those torps correctly. Now, I'm just making the decision that, you know what, I've still got one one rack of torps. I'm just going to go in there and take the hits. Um, you know, YOLO, what can I say? So, I do get caught kind of flat-footed, and I am going to slow this down because this is a, a, pretty, a pretty accurate dodge. I want you to really pay attention to this indicator not that slow okay you can see he knows what's coming you're gonna see he's gonna start turning out he, his turns already started his rudders just gotten over look at that lead that I'm, I'm given even though the indicators here his ship is turning out and you're gonna see his rudders actually locked all the way over now you can you're gonna start to really see his ship turn yep there it is but because I was ahead of the game I led his turn, and I'm going to go four for four on this ship. Boom. Now, because I refuse to run anything concealment on this destroyer, because concealment is for wimps, I'm still detected by the Azumo. I'm just going to go run this down. Now, I am going to take some damage here doing this but the flip side is my Yagumo is being killed by a Benson so I kind of need to do something and torpedoes are up again you can see the Azumo turning look at his ship look at his look at his rudder his rudder is just going over and you can see, I drop one on the indicator, and I'm going to drop one short, predicting his turn. He doesn't have that much HP. I've got two racks of torps to play with. You know, have at it. Now, as these battleships turn like this, they typically can't shoot at you. And I'm able to, to skate away with, you know... It cost me quite a bit of HP, but I cleaned up those two battleships. Unfortunately, my Yugumo buddy goes down. He's got torps out on this Benson. I'm getting ready to fight the Benson. But my Yugumo actually takes out the Benson. So this leaves me in a situation that, okay. My team's kiting back from C here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to step on B cap. I'm thinking, all right, I can cap B cap, I can back cap A cap, and get these points, you know, really going in my team's situation because it looks like we're going to lose C cap. So at this point, I'm thinking, I'm just capping. Now, I don't, I don't know if, uh, I mean, this Tashkent could be coming back. So I'm going to throw some torps out here just to kind of cover <coughs> this exit as, uh, or this entrance point as this cap is ticking down. I 
I mean, maybe I catch something, maybe I don't, but the torps aren't doing anything on my boat right now, so just going to head on out here and hop on a cap you can see the georgia he's i mean he's throwing a ship away right now so i'm feeling pretty good about this the enemy team is on c cap and uh but that's okay because i'm going to be in a cap here very shortly we still got you know a ship advantage we've got you know some points that we can play with you know we're not we're not in rocky shape right now but I don't have that much HP after going YOLO that hard, so I, I need to kind of be mindful of what I'm doing here. Because what's setting alarm bells off in my head, I'm not seeing the Alaska or the Tashkent. And if I get pushed by the Tashkent, you know, that's one thing. I might be able to, to fight the Tashkent depending on what his HP is. Uh, Tashkent and Alaska, that's going to be really rough. So um, I'm anticipating that, okay, this is probably going to be the Tashkent. And boom, okay, I, I get a spot on him. You can see how much HP he has. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this shot because I get detected. I instantly uh, smoke up. I got, I got a critical spot on the Alaska. That tells me everything I need to know about, ooh boy, I need to be really careful here. So, I got a pretty good chunk on that Tashkent. I dropped some Make-A-Wish torpedoes. The idea with those torpedoes, the uh, the Tashkent capped, maybe he tries to rush me, trying to uh, just run me down. <coughs> maybe those torpedoes hit, maybe they don't. But, like I said, they're not doing anything on my boat right now, so... Get them out there and go fishing. So right now, I'm, I'm just going to give give ground. I'm, I'm going to keep throwing torpedoes out there on likely bearing points. Just judging, you know, if this Tashkent was chasing my smoke, where might I be able to interdict him? And I'm just setting things up. I'm, I'm just waiting for help. <clears throat> like I said... I, I can't win this fight against the Tashkent and the Alaska. So gonna set it up so my team is able to maybe punish this Alaska. <clears throat> so just gonna pause right here. Just keep this guy located. Gonna start circling back around. And why I'm circling is I outspotted the Tashkent. So <clears throat> good grief, my throat's getting dry. Excuse me. So, I outspotted the Tash Camp before. So, I'm trying to get in a position where I can kind of zone this Tash Camp out of our cap. You can see some shots coming in on the enemy Alaska. I do get the spots I'm looking for on the Tash Camp. But again, just holding my fire because this isn't a fight I can really win. Throw. <clears throat> so I do get radar detected. I took the shot. The Alaska just gets erased by my Lepatano. Uh, great shot by him. And teamwork is just overpowered. That guy played this excellent. So I'm going to just turn around and push in. Now the role is completely reversed. I've got the support. The Tashkent doesn't. So we're just going to go to work on this guy. Once again, SAP does not play when it hits DDs. You can see the shots coming in. I smoke up. Yeah, there we go. And I smoked up because I was pretty sure that this Lepatano would be able to keep the Tashkent spotted. And that, uh, that opens things up for, would open things up where I could just shoot from smoke and be pretty safe that way. Uh, 
and it, you know the the real lesson there is bide your time you know I wasn't immediately in danger of losing the game you know I had the time to fall back get support you know let the situation develop and then fight on my terms uh, just doing that will win you so many more battles than just trying to say I need every cap I need every cap I need every cap it caps contrary to a, a lot of opinions don't actually win you win you games uh, map control wins you games uh, eliminating ships and getting a, a firepower and HP advantage on the enemy team that wins you games you know I, I say it all the time what do I care if an enemy DD comes into a cap and takes it for the first minute of the game? I'm looking to take the cap for the rest of the game. You know, I'm trying to set my team up systematically to dominate that flank. And, uh, you know, or in the case like this where I lose my all of my support, I'm going to fall back until I have, you know, the, the support that I need to carry the fight through to, to win if that support exists at all. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna have to do the best I can. Uh, but in this case, you know, we, we ended up being able to make it work. Uh, so anyway, gonna cut this, this replay off. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. As always, the build that I use uh, in, the, in the game will be in the video description and links to my Discord and uh, my Patreon account will be below. If you get anything out of these videos, you know, maybe consider subscribing to Patreon. I uh, don't, it's not mandatory or anything like that. Uh, it's just a way of supporting the channel. I've been doing a lot of upgrades trying to get uh, better, better qual quality videos for you guys. And uh, the Patreon members have come through big time for me. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you later.